Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will react to another creepy compilation TikTok video. Let's watch. Those are real life aliens. In the name of Jesus, I command whatever is in this house to leave. You're not welcome here. They just bounced. They just packed up and left. Left my poor boy there alone. Scary, scary stuff. You want to see what the Earth is like a million years from now? Albert Einstein lays out a blueprint for what you need to do to get there. Would you like to know what of it is? Of course! Yeah, so there are a couple of ways. You can go out in space, travel near the speed of light, and turn around and come back. Your clock will tick off time very slowly compared to clocks on Earth. So when you come back, maybe one year has gone by, but a million years may have gone by on the Earth clocks. Or, if you don't like traveling near the speed of light, hang out near the edge of a black hole. Again, your clock will tick off time very slowly, so when you come back to Earth, much more time will have elapsed, which means you will have leapfrogged into Earth's future. That is time travel to the future. And there's no one who doesn't agree with this. Why do you think all these powers want to do a space exploration for? The powers want to time travel. What's the point of music? You don't know? It's not always to have fun. It's not always to have fun. Sometimes it's to help people find themselves because music is frequency programming. That was good. Music is frequency program. That was good. Music is frequency program. Music is frequency. What fre frequency are you being fed? I will hope. I will hope them before they go pull some negative shit out this conversation. They go pull. They pull this part. This part of the conversation, and then see that I'm really, really actually helping people, bro. At 15 years old, I was doing um, sound engineering, so I was playing with frequency. I was playing with equalizers. Now, figured out that hertz is to understand the frequency vibration, right? All right, there's hertz, kilohertz, megahertz, and then there's, I think it's ultrahertz. If I play with those frequencies, right, I can target certain parts of the mind. I can target certain parts of the mind. Target the frequency to go to certain parts of the mind, and I can literally, like, if I want you to astral project, right? If I want you to astral project, or if I want you to go to sleep, or if I want you to go into a meditative state, I can make my music do that. Government, just let me, bro, just let me work. Let me do my thing. <sighs> if they let a young man be a young man, and they let me move on with my life, and let me be the person I need to, I, 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 I need to be, not only for myself, but for the kids. Cause, bro, people feel like they got so much control over, the, over their kids, but no, fam, the internet really do. And I'm a, a f internet sensation. Behind it, uh, it was behind some negative shit, but I turned it into a positive. Now, if they let it be turned into a negative, they basically saying, F they kids. The only answer would be to kill me. And I'll say it right here on your live stream, and that would be the only answer to kill me. But kill me for what? 
My goals are positive. Like I just said, I just want to help. Yeah. Go to 17 and see what I'm saying. Go listen to my album 17 and go see what I'm saying. I just want to help. You know, you seen John Lennon was on his. John Lennon was about peace. They murdered that. that that's what. They murdered that. That, that's what I was gonna say to you. It feels like anytime you get somebody who could either be a revolutionary or a renaissance. I don't want to be no fucking revolutionary, bro. No, no. But Listen. anytime you go about things, and if I was gonna be a revolutionary, way, I wouldn't even say it. Now I was saying, how does the story end? And what, what I was saying, end? What, what I, I live, I live as long as I possibly can, so these kids can see as possible. And then boom, I die either of old age or from a fucking or somebody murder me. Or Man, that guy was ahead of his time. Did you know Trump's uncle was like this MIT professor? And he received Nikola Tesla's life's work. Didn't he try to do like time travel or something? Yeah, he's kind of like known for revolutionizing electricity and how it's used. Oh, yeah. But it was said that he might have invented time travel. And a weird thing with the Trumps is Donald's son, Baron Trump, is in these novels from the 1800s. It like looks like him. And it's like stories about him and his father Donald. That's weird because Baron has a very distinguished look. So they're saying Baron Trump's a time traveler. And Trump is too. I heard about that story. I wonder if he can get himself out of jail now. Here, look, 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 over there. You see that? What the hell? Yeah, I seen those two clips. The first one always trips me out because I'm still trying to figure out if it was fake or real. Time travelers caught on camera part four. Vladimir Putin is over 100 years old. Picture of a woman on the phone in 1938. 3,000 year old hieroglyph showing a helicopter and a futuristic looking uh, those hieroglyphics always throw me off because there's so many references to nowadays technology. A skinwalker has been known to mimic the sound of people. So you think that someone's in trouble, you go out to help them and they can attack and kill you. They do this so that you let your guard down and you think nothing of it. You go to help someone and BAM! What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Man, talking about skinwalkers, I always wanted to visit Skinwalker Ranch. The music business is only designed to get as many people to go away from God as possible. So what happens is the devil needs workers. And by workers, he needs people who have influence, who can mislead or misguide people away from the light into the darkness. So this is why the artist is powerful. So the artist is the mouthpiece, okay? The artist is the mouthpiece between the devil and the fan. And the artist's job is to get you to throw up these weird signs. What are you doing this for? This is the bot for me. I don't this. So don't think I'm throwing this up because I don't this mm. i'm just showing you when you see these signs when you see the checkerboards when you hear them talking about demon time and drill and all even the actual beat and the bpm it's all 808 drums this is all low vibration mm. so what happens is the artist is only the tool used to push the message of the devil music is a powerful thing be careful who you idolize back in 2003 the fbi would arrest a 44 year old man named andrew Coulson because he had just won the highest luck amount in history but how so? In the space of two weeks, he had turned his $800 into $350 million, and there was no way that that sudden amount of wealth wouldn't raise eyebrows. Andrew would be arrested for insider trading, but instead of denying the allegation, he gave a shocking four-hour confession about how his 126 high-risk trades paid off. Andrew claimed that he knew exactly how those trades would work, because he had come from 250 years in the future. Andrew's claims were not believed, and for that, he was going to be jailed until he gave up his source. However, he did not give up any source, and as part of his plea bargain, he promised to tell the authorities the whereabouts of Osama bin Laden and the cure for AIDS. It's not clear if he actually gave the authorities that information. However, the FBI was bent on proving him a liar, and they could not find any records of his existence before December of 2002, just three months before he would be arrested. As if that's not enough, he also disappeared on his way to court, 
for his bail hearing and has never since been seen. My guy just used his get out of free jail card. He left this timeline. Well, that was a very pleasant surprise. I was not expecting that. Brought a tear to my eye. Is that all you can do? You know I have the power and the protection of God with me. So you can't do anything else to me, can you? You can close doors, you can make noises. You can move the chandelier. My camera usually shuts off. Who are you? Who are you? That poltergeist was like, try me. <laughs> this is Yama Q, and he has a ghost problem. Yama states his house is haunted after the previous owner died tragically in the tub. Ever since Yama moved in, he's noticed unusual things occurring. It started off with doors shutting, strange banging, and wailing. This to me is the strangest video yet. Yama goes outside and hears moaning. He then quickly walks inside and goes on the offensive. He grabs a boiling pot of water and walks outside where the moaning seems to get louder. This video seriously creeps me out, but what do you guys think? I'm gonna try that next time. Get myself some hot boiling water, call myself Ghostbuster. This is the elephant's foot, and resides in the most deadly room in the world. The elephant's foot is the nickname given to a large mass of radioactive material located inside the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine. The elephant's foot is made from a mixture of nuclear reactor fuel and concrete, which has been dubbed corium. Radioactive lava escaped from one of the cores during the meltdown in 1986. What's crazy is the lava traveled through six and a half feet of reinforced concrete and made it out of the room through a steam pipe. After four days, the elephant's foot was still averaging 3,020 degrees Fahrenheit and radiating more than 10,000 rentgen an hour, which is equivalent to 4.5 million chest x-rays. This is the first image captured of the elephant foot. This was shot by a worker who pushed their camera around the corner on a chair to see what was causing the massive radiation spike around the corner. Also what's interesting is all those little holes that you see in the film, that's from the gamma radiation blasting through the film reel. In 1996, 10 years after the meltdown, the elephant's foot was slightly less dangerous than it was before due to the decay of the radioactive components. This photo was taken by Artur Korneyev, and somehow he didn't die from taking these selfies though he does have a heap of health problems related to the radiation exposure. What's interesting about this photo is the picture looks a little bit off because of how much radiation it was exposed to. Even after 10 years of decay, it still has damaging effects. After the meltdown of 1986, 31 people died immediately after the Chernobyl accident, and it's estimated that another 50 deaths were attributed due to the radiation surrounding the plant. But since radioactive damage to the body is not usually immediate, it's hard to say for sure if this was caused by the plant or not. That's a lot of nuclear waste. Music is spiritual. Anybody that the music long enough, you know, if you don't cloud yourself and you don't, like, miss it, you're going to realize it's spiritual. You can miss it, though, but if you're in tune and you're present enough, you're going to be like, it's vibrations, it's the word. If you even read the Bible in the beginning, it was the word. That's the first thing that the Bible said. So the power of the word is intense. It's real. To try to make music and separate it from a spiritual thing, I don't think it's possible. The actual act of music, think about this. You're going somewhere mentally and you're bringing something back that people that aren't where you just went can hear in the place that you both are. Like you go somewhere when you go pull a lyric down. Where is it at? Where does it exist? You know what I'm saying? And then you say it with your voice and now everybody can hear it. It was a truth that existed in everybody's space. You just went and like brought it down to the level that we communicate on. That's spiritual. Even producers make music. Where does the music exist at? They hear an A, B, C. Where does that, until they play it, they bringing it down to our level of experience, but it exists already, because they heard it. So to think it's not spiritual, I think it's being like, you're not thinking about it long enough. This is another person that was ahead of their time. R.I.P. Nipsey, 
The city of Lucifer has been discovered, and it will shock you. But the most astonishing thing is that people live there, and it's not the only city in the world. In Apocalypse, chapter 2, verse 13, Jesus reveals the city of Satan. Listen carefully to the words of Jesus. I know where you live, where Satan's throne is. It was in this very place that his faithful witness Antipas gave up his spirit. He was burned alive on a bronze statue in Geneva, Switzerland. And you'll never guess what's happening right now in Geneva. This city is the headquarters of an organization called CERN, whose logo bears a striking resemblance to the number 666. Their goal is to develop a revolutionary machine that allows contact with the supernatural. Recently, they made an important discovery known as the God Particle, which has further fueled questions and debates. In the meantime, let me know in the comments if you want me to specifically talk about this highly mysterious organization that hides very dark secrets. Do not even get me started on CERN. I have so many theories about them. So many. big fan of that guy's videos he's always getting into something well guys that is the video thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment and as always i will see you on the next one oh we got a good one today peace